Hi everyone, my name is Wiley. I'm a final year medical student at the University of Bristol and I'm also a future doc tutor as well. In this video, I'll be talking through what life is like as a Bristol medical student, what it's like to be a university student here and giving you some tips and tricks so you shouldn't be aware of if you're starting here as well. Let's get straight into the video. So why did you choose Bristol University? So I chose Bristol primarily because I got a really good insight into it when I started out in sixth form. So I, along with a lot of my other sixth form colleagues were able to go to a summer school in Bristol. It's called Insight to Bristol, but I'm sure I'm, I'm quite old, so I don't know if it still exists. But what I would say is that that gave me the perfect exposure to what being a Bristol student is like, and also what being a medical student is like at Bristol as well. Primarily because I was living in the halls of residences, I was walking around the city, I was speaking to staff and students, and I got a really good vibe of what it was like just from being in that so it's better than any other open day i could do and i think if you do qualify for a lot of those criteria, do do those summer schools because that is the best way to kind of find out what that university is going to be like from a really authentic viewpoint how early do students get clinical exposure at bristol so with bristol it's really unique that clinical exposure really begins in first year so i even remember when i was in my first year the second week we actually were in a gp surgery and it was quite funny because you go to a GP surgery and we've all done work experience, but when you're a medical student, there's like a sense of responsibility there. And you're now with this patient and you're like, what do I even say? So I think I said, how was the weather to like every single patient on that list? Because I was like, what, what do I even do in this moment? But I think it gave me that confidence that if I can do it at the very beginning, when I'm in my fourth year, fifth year, I really have those skills to just seamlessly have conversation with the patients. And it's definitely something that I think Bristol has as a really unique aspect. How is anatomy taught at Bristol University? So anatomy was something that I wanted to really know about when I went to like medical schools in general. And with Bristol from early on, they spoke about prosections over dissections, which means that there's a bigger focus on looking at different specimens and just having them there as opposed to dissecting it, which I think is really good if you're a learner that's quite visual and you prefer kind of viewing things at different orientations as opposed to someone that wants to be a bit more hands-on and practical. I just preferred looking at the actual specimens as opposed to kind of dissecting them myself. Probably why I don't want to do surgery. <laughs> but I think, you know, that was the key thing that I wanted to know about with um, anatomy. And that's how Bristol tends to do it. What kind of support is available for students who are struggling? So I think going to university and going to medical school can be a massive challenge, especially for me. I was moving away from home. So that support system that I had back home wasn't at university and I had to kind of make it a home away from home. So first thing first, I think if you can reach out to your support network with your friends, that's always a good thing. With Bristol in particular, there's a big well-being 24-7 service. So with the university themselves, you can actually access it directly. And with the medical school, each year group has senior tutors who aren't there for your academics. They're actually there for your pastoral and well-being. So I would always reach out to them if I had any problems. But I think there is a big team in place and they're trying to keep on increasing that. So Bristol, along with other universities, are really making sure well-being is at the forefront. Is the focus on becoming a good doctor or mainly just passing exams? Bristol really prides itself on creating future doctors who use multiple tools to kind of connect with their patients. So an interesting thing about the university is that we do a lot of creative projects and I didn't know this before applying. It was really like something that came us, came at us in first year. They said, oh, guys, you're going to need to do an art project. And everyone was like, why do we need to do an art project as a medical student? But the reason why we had to do it is because of the process that an art project involves. You have to, first of all, think about an idea, develop that idea, and you have to be really creative. And we know that doctors are going to have to do that in their role. There'll be times where you have to problem solve. And that act of problem solving involves a lot of creativity. So I think now that I'm in my final year and I'm going to start work as a doctor, I can definitely, you know, thank Bristol for creating someone who is able to kind of think outside the box, which is something that Bristol in itself is very unique in. How intense is the workload at Bristol? I think, I think medical school and workload go hand in hand. Like when I first went to medical school, I was overwhelmed by the amount of content that I had to cover. And I think with Bristol, it's no different to other medical schools. I guess there is an element of there being a bit less because you don't spend as much time on the kind of physiology, anatomy and doing years and years of that. You primarily have a very streamlined module on that. So I'd say the workload was still high, but there's a lot of support there. And I think medical school, part of it is actually learning how to manage that workload so that you have a life. 
So I'd say that I had to really learn that very quickly. And um, there were many ways in which I did that through just being a bit more efficient with how I covered content. Um, and Bristol's no different, really. What's the vibe among students? How do they support each other? Is it quite competitive? One of the big things I thought with medical school is that everyone's going to be on their own path and no one wants to really work with anyone. But it kind of mirrors the healthcare kind of profession where we're in it, we're all in this together, really. Like we're all students. We're going to be feature colleagues, a lot of us. So it's about kind of rallying together. And one thing I really liked about Bristol is that our students kind of, we all knew that. And we knew that through doing things like case-based learning, where we have to do team-based stuff, we had to work together. So for that reason, I'd say that we're all quite close-knit. Our year group tends to be around 200 students, whereas other medical schools can have 400 to 500. So I'd say that there is a bit of a close-knit group. We get put in random groups at the very beginning and we change them after a year. So we get, we get to meet more people. And I really like that because you'd see new faces every day and then, you know, you meet someone new and you're like, oh, hello, I've never seen you before. So I think that was quite nice in um, establishing a community. What are the hospitals like? Yeah, so Bristol and clinical placements is actually really unique. So as you know, Bristol is a city in itself and there are two hospitals. So there's the Bristol Royal Infirmary and Bristol Southmead. Now, if you have a large cohort, they can't really just be in those two hospitals for those you know five years or so. So we actually get moved around the southwest of England. So I personally have been in Yeovil, which I've never heard of. I'm a London boy. I didn't know what Yeovil was. I just do the, I just do the football team. Uh, then there was Gloucester, Swindon, Bath. So you're, you're everywhere. And I'd say that's something to really bear in mind because you do get a diversity of different places and different areas. So it's quite unique that you get split across many other areas as opposed to other medical schools where you may just kind of stay in that region. Bristol moves you around the southwest, which is a really good way of seeing the variety in clinical practice for sure. Is there a lot of travel involved during placements or in clinical years? Just to go a bit more into depth with Bristol and clinical placements, from what I know, it's Bristol, so you have BRI, which is Bristol Royal Infirmary, you have Southmead, which is a bit more of a tertiary centre, and then outside of that, you have Gloucester Hospital, Swindon Hospital, Bath, Taunton, Weston, Yeovil, and many more that I can't remember at this moment in time, but we can put them in the description for you guys. But really, that just goes to show that there are multiple places that you may be at as a student in Bristol. And often you may be moved on what we call outplacements to go there. So if you're not in Bristol, everywhere else is classified as an outplacement. So you often will maybe have accommodation out there, which the university provides for you. You're living with other medical students in the same boat. So that in itself becomes a social thing. You're kind of all in this together. You're randomly in Yeovil, like I was, for example. Um, and that really, you cherish those experiences because it's really different. And, you know, being a doctor, there will be times where you get moved around a lot. So it's a good way of kind of adapting to that. But I would say that for me personally, it does kind of mean that you're traveling a lot. However, I'd say that when you're there, you, you kind of do really get settled. And the teams that are in there really support you. So the Gloucester team will know that, you know, you've come from Bristol and they provide you with what can you do in the area on the weekend so that you really become part of that community. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it really useful. And if you one day want to be wearing these grey Bristol scrubs, then let us know down in the comments if you would like to actually study at Bristol or if you're starting there as well. Always happy to answer any questions or comments at all. If you actually want help on your medical school application, then do check out the Future Doc program where you can be coached by students like myself or other doctors. And we actually have a university profile series where we go through what life is like at other medical schools. Our most recent one is Manchester and we're currently doing loads more. So do check it out.